I do not have. But what I do have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Walk! He, he, he's taken, taken him by his right hand. He helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple court, walking and jumping and praising the Lord. Never walked in his entire life. But look what, he was expecting something. What was he expecting? He was expecting some arms. He was expecting some money. He was expecting some money, folks. But there's more than what we want. Some of you might be saying, God, take this headache from me. And God wants to take this tumor that's in me. Some of you say, God, I want some money this month that I can pay my bills. And God's arranging how you can be completely out of debt. He's trying to get you out of debt. You just want money just to pay a couple bills. He wants you to be debt free. He wants you to have uh, financial freedom. And we're just asking God just to pay a couple bills this month. You might be asking God to get you a job. God, I need a job. And God's saying, I'm arranging to get you your own business. See, why? Because God wants to give us more than we can even think of. See, we, we have we got to change our thinking. We can't. See, God is not the kind of God that's going to meet a need. God's going to go over and above that, but we have to expect it. See, uh, go ahead. Uh, is that all the way to eight? Okay, go to the next scripture. Look what it says. So that Christ may dwell in your heart. And I pray that being rooted and established in love, May have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ. You understand? I mean, he is saying the love of God is the depth of that love, the capacity of that love is beyond our own reasoning and understanding. See, we try to we try to analyze everything with our own intellect. When God is way above that. He said, I'm, I, and Isaiah says, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. My ways are beyond your ways. You know? So we're trying to put God in our own minds. But God's beyond that. And his love is beyond that. Look at that. I mean, I don't care who walks away from you, who rejects you, but if God is for you, who could be against you? God looks like that. That's what he told uh, 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 the brother that had 300 people. What was his name? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Who? Gideon. Who? Gideon. Gideon. It's not Gideon. <laughs> it's Gideon. He said, get in my presence. Don't get running. Get in my presence. And what happened? He was one man. And God, 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 and he, and the enemy was was, was going and, and filter trading through the village, and he was hiding. The Bible says behind a wine press, and he's hiding, shaking. And God, God intervened and said, uh, "Get in, man of value, mighty warrior." I know you ain't talking to me, God. I'm talking to you. You're a mighty warrior. Mm -hmm. He said. God, you must be mistaken. My family of all the tribes of Israel is the weak of all the families, and I'm the weakest in my family. <laughs> and you're calling me a mighty warrior? He said, if I'm for you, 